and I guess Miguel really said it correctly earlier, whatever has gone, whatever has, or whatever could go wrong, has gone wrong. Y'all strap your, your stuff up, yourself up well. I don't want y'all got hanging out the car. If your camera's about to fall, listen, let it go. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. So today we're gonna to be taking a flight from Miami International Airport over to New Jersey, dirty Jersey. It's okay, I can see that because I'm from the tri-state originally. But um, right now I'm waiting for Grizzly Lens. Uh, he's one of our photographers for BMW Invasion. If you guys are first tuning in, my name is Ken. I'm one of the co-founders of BMW Invasion along with Miguel Beamer. And we're gonna be taking a flight as a team over to New Jersey where we're gonna be having two events this weekend. Tomorrow we're going to be having the invasion of the Poconos and the day after that we're going to be attending Impact and I can't wait because Impact, it's, it's something I always saw online, saw videos, saw Instagram pictures, never was able to get a chance to attend so this year we're going to be attending and it's going to be good meeting a lot of you guys that you know watch the channel and also follow BMW Invasion so I can't wait, let's wait for Grizz to get here and we'll continue with the vlog later. Yo. What's good? We are leaving right now. Okay, no worries. Uh, looks like there might be a little traffic going south to Miami. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're departing the house as we speak, so I'm just grabbing some extra masks. Okay, sounds good. How long it takes to get for you to get here? Uh, it's saying it's saying 29 to 30 minutes. Okay, cool. I'll just uh, grab my bags together and stuff. Okay. All right. See you later, big dog. All right. I'll see you in a few. All right, big dog. All right. Bye. I'm downstairs. All right, I'm coming out now. Let me uh, All grab right. my shit. I'm gonna turn left where the visitor parking goes. All right, sounds All right, good. You want me to just go straight here? Just pull in and then make your first right. So let's meet up Grizzly downstairs. Got all my bags. So let's get going. Okay, now tell me where I go. Okay, to uh, Miami Airport. Yeah, I know. <laughs> exit from I got here, jokes. where I go. You're gonna make a right? Where, here? Yes. I make a right. Just don't run over the dog? I'm sorry, I don't see him. That'd Come be dinner on, for man. me, you know? You'd be doing it for you? It'd be dinner for me. Dinner for you? Oh, yeah. God. And then uh, make another right? And I would be in Broward? Uh, and then you're gonna make another right. Maybe on Broward. So, looks like there might be a little traffic. Oh, there was definitely traffic coming coming uh, south. south, yeah. Might have to get she wants to smack me most of the time. Good, good. Maybe you need a smacking sometimes. I can still smack you, you know. No, I don't. You could take it. He's strong. <laughs> he's not strong. Grizz thinks he's strong. Or, John thinks he's strong. We call him Grizz. Grizz? Yeah. That's his stage name. Big Bear. So Grizz, we have to see it to the camera. We lit. Nothing? I don't know, what are we getting into? No idea. I don't know, we're just getting on the plane and going somewhere. I heard it's gonna be cool. You scared? I'm terrified. <laughs> So we are on our way to the airport um, in Grizz's grandma's car. She's driving us to the airport. Really nice lady, making fun of uh, Grizzly, you know, saying that he's not the favorite grandson, right? It's he's not the favorite grandson. It's normal. It's normal. But uh, traffic's light. We got delays at the airport, and I think we should be getting into New Jersey pretty late, maybe close to midnight. So good thing we don't have to wake up too early. Chris, I really think you're going to be the favorite grandson because if I was your grandmother, I would not be driving you to Miami with all this traffic <laughs> and picking up a random stranger like me. All right, y'all, we're getting into the airport. A lot of crazy drivers, but we're here. We're going to JetBlue. 
we're delayed and I think we're delayed even later. We're leaving at nine o'clock at night. It sucks. Hopefully we don't get canceled. I don't I don't come down. I was there, we were walking around and freaking super stressful. I'll update you guys when we get to the airplane. I'll take my other camera out. But super stressful. We'll explain more. I'm lit. What? Huh? <laughs> Pretty much a shit show. Camera, we were supposed to get a minivan that got delayed. I'll tell you guys when we get to the airport. Yeah. I don't know this guy. <laughs> but um, I guess the start location for the rally is not going to be happening there. We're going to be doing it at a different location. Um, but it's been one thing after the other of going wrong. So when we get to the airport, actually when we get to the hotel or get to the Newark airport, I'll explain to you guys exactly what went on and what's gonna be the solution. So there you got a wild Miguel shaving in public. Take a batch of the time. If there's downtime, so might as well. Do not have to do it in the morning. It's kind of shitty. So it's 112. We were supposed to be here around 11 o'clock. Right now we're at Newark Airport and it's been a hell of a time. It's been a, a crazy time. A lot of delays, a lot of issues, and a lot of things that we all had to overcome. Shuttle upstairs P3. So now we're gonna be on our way to uh, get in the rent the car. So we were making our way to get the rent the car. I don't think we're gonna get into bed, probably little, maybe 2 30. We got a wild bear back there. Little, little. Chaos, chaos, all right, so chaos Please number one. The, the doors are closing. The train we got a phone call. Please from, hold on while the train is moving. So we have made arrangements with uh, Park Avenue BMW. The train is departing. Please and hold on while the train is just moving. Just a few hours before, before us the departing. Stop, the they call us and they say, we can't handle you guys because of COVID, and therefore, you can't come here. So we're here scrambling, finding another place that's within a short distance that we could use. We found a parking lot where there's a Starbucks and there's other kind of food places. So hopefully we're just gonna, I don't know, I don't know what you call it. You call it. We'll never wreck you. Just gonna meet up there and uh, head out from there, but it's really bad situation. Um, we probably won't do business with them anymore. Uh, just, you know, they leave you hanging. They put us in a bad spot. Yeah, they put us in a bad spot. Yeah. It's a real bad spot, so. Like, it would have been understandable if they would have let us know with, with time, it's like, listen, like, let's say like a week or something. We've been talking to them since June. So, June, July, prior you know a few weeks before days before and then a few hours before they're like oh no we can't do it we are approaching bad the situation Please really hold bad on until the train comes to a complete stop All right, so just to give you guys an update, we're at Avis, waiting for uh, in line for the next uh, rent the car. We ended up basically renting a car at uh, Miami International Airport, and it was last minute. So when we get into the car, we'll kind of explain a little bit more about what happened, what chaos, and we're gonna make it happen. Right, Grizz? We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make this happen, don't worry. Like, we're gonna make we always happen. make it happen, no matter what, so. 
Stay tuned. That's what I tell my exes all the time. I'm not with them, but this time I'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so now these guys are gonna do like a fuckboy picture. All right, go up these stairs. I gotta go up this escalator. All right, so this is the things you don't see. Basically, we're walking around Avis. Uh, they're giving us multiple options. Yeah, so we pretty much got screwed. We're not getting a minivan that we're supposed to get um, from the other rental car company because they close at nine. So we have to rebook a vehicle at Avis. And we're here right now looking at cars. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for our guys to film and take photos, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna adapt. So we're gonna be picking up a, uh, a Toyota 4Runner and uh, make it work. So it's been a long day. I think we'll probably get to the hotel room and be settled down by like three to wake up at like seven. We selected a Toyota RAV4. No, 4Runner, Toyota 4Runner. RAV4, we'd be in trouble. Yeah. What was it that you said was? RAV4. <laughs> Dude, it's like, it's like two o'clock in the morning. We'd be in trouble. My wife has a RAV4. It's small. In trouble. I always wanted a forerunner. Yeah, but they're one. so basic inside. I had one. I had one. Yeah, it's super right. basic. Yeah, but they last so forever. Reliable, right? man. Reliable. We'll check you guys at the airport. I mean, fucking hotel. <laughs> so tired. We'll check you guys at the hotel because the music is basically getting me copyrighted. Just want to say we should have been at the hotel by now, but Grizzly took a wrong turn and added and added another 25 minutes onto our trip to the hotel from the airport. No, I don't want to see the hood in New Jersey. No, no. I have enough culture. Pissed stop essentials water. We got waters in the back, but uh, we have a whole bunch of things to do tomorrow morning. We gotta pick up waters. We gotta pick up donuts, coffee. We have arrived at Hilton Garden morning. Inn. It's three in the morning. We gotta wake up. We have to be ready by nine. So we gotta, we only got five hours or so. <laughs> if that. So this is the hotel. Tomorrow y'all strap y'all stuff up, yourself up well. I don't want y'all got hanging out the car. If your camera's about to fall, listen. Let it go. That's it's too much bad shit has happened so far, man. I don't know. Huh? Too much bad shit, has, weird stuff has happened so far. So we are waiting at the hotel lobby for them to check us in. I guess we gotta wait another 20 minutes. I think the systems are down. Makes no fucking sense. And I guess Miguel really said it correctly earlier whatever has gone whatever has or whatever could go wrong has gone wrong in reference to the flight delay that really messes up with the rent the car we had to cancel that we don't have a minivan and we had to get a Toyota 4Runner which is smaller for filming purposes and also storing our gear and then uh, Park Avenue and BMW backed out of hosting us because a lot of their members or employees have COVID there. So it's been a long day. I think majority of the time at the airport in Miami, I was able to vlog a little bit and we weren't able to vlog as much because we were just trying to figure out which rent the car are we gonna get. We looked on Turo, we looked on different so websites and we really didn't have much options. So I'm good. Anybody trying to knock out like to enjoy like four hours of sleep at least? No. Uh -huh. We're gonna do a wake up call though. Hmm? We're gonna do a wake up call for everybody. <clears throat> but um, yeah, pretty much we're at the airport scrambling to the last 10 minutes trying to figure out rent the car and, and timing everything. So these are the things you guys don't see and you know, behind the beautiful movies that this guy makes. Like I promise you, I wish this was stage, but it hasn't, it's that stage. <laughs> it's just like, what time is it now? Three something. It's 3.08. It's 3.05. Dude, like, let me tell I you. I did, bro. Hmm? 
It's been a long day. It's been a long been day. Uh, tomorrow I got a, I got some meetings I got to go to in the morning as well. So I'll be doing those uh, over my phone. I brought my computer with me. No, not what driver, man. I got, I got meetings up until 11 o'clock. So I'll be taking my meetings. And um, I got my employees. I need to certify their payrolls, make sure they get paid. So just part of it. BMW invasion life. And most people don't know, we don't, this is not our full-time gig. We wish it could be our full-time gig. It is very demanding, but we all have full-time jobs, just so you guys know. So, so please, buy our gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got polos? I'm not sure, you saw, you guys saw the polos? We got polos. We got polos. Oh, masks are now back in, so you gotta make sure you get your mask. And, um, Help a brother. I've been in my office since 7.30 in the, in the, in the morning. And okay. right after that, you know, I had a, uh, somebody at work take me to the airport. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so we have them waking up. They'll make it, bro. Don't worry about it. They got to eat. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck that. And they take a shower. So what are we doing? What do you mean? No, we fucking give them a wake up call. I wake up call at 7.30. <laughs> because, first of all, Baca took some NyQuil. NyQuil and some of that hookah shit that he smokes. I don't know what the fuck it is. I know it's stronger than nicotine. It's actually not a bad hotel. So, it's clean. All right, guys, really quick room tour. Nothing crazy. I'm really exhausted. It's late. Pretty basic room. Sharing this room with Miguel. Um, Grizzly and Bach are going to be sharing the other room. I'm going to charge some of my things I need to charge for tomorrow, and that's it. We're waking up in like, a, like four hours, maybe three. I don't know. I'm tired. Other than that, I'll check you guys tomorrow. Uh, stand by for uh, video number two, where we're going to be doing the rally, and hopefully be a, be a, be a better day. But um, this is the raw feeling of everything going on, so appreciate you guys. On that note, I'll see you guys on the next video.